Right, I'm going to make cream, uh, butter out of this cream. 81p a tub, it's 900 millilitres. Let's see what cream I'll get out of this. I've got one and a half pots of cream in there. Let's see how we go. Right, it's gone this thick so far. You want to put like a marble in there or something clean. You can see there at the bottom. It's thick like that, and you've just got to keep shaking it until it goes to butter. You start hearing like um, water inside, or whey, whatever they call it. Then you know that you're getting near the butter. Right, now it's getting all lumpy. After you just keep shaking it, then it's going to, eventually it's going to separate. You get a bit of water in the bottom, and then it's going to separate into butter, and whey, I think they call it. Right, now you can see there's all liquid in there. So, a few more shakes, and that would be butter. It takes about five minutes, but it's worth it. There's quite a lot of butter there, and I've still got one and a half tubs to go. So, all right. Like inside the jar, there's all the butter, and there's all the excess liquid that's coming out. All right. And there you go. That is pure fresh butter. Just needs squashing down into the cup. And that's a lot of butter for uh, one and a half tubs. So if you see cream reduced, double cream in the supermarket, go and buy it, mix your own butter, but or butter. Save spending um, a load of money on it. This, this has probably cost me, and that's equivalent definitely to half a slab. I've poured the liquid away down a drain. That's probably cost me one pound forty. One pound sixty. What's one? One pound forty. And uh, yeah, I've got a big tub of butter. I thought this would all the whole lot will fit in this one cup, but I'm going to need two cups. You got to squash it down, get more liquid out as well with a clean spoon. Don't use a spoon with the cream on it. And Stick a cover over it, a bit of cling film, stick it in your fridge. Okay. Also, I forgot to say, you gotta make sure you squash it down and get all the liquid out of it. You start seeing liquid in there, you gotta get it out because that will go off and turn your butter rancid. So, all right. I've got one and a half pots of cream in there. Let's see how it goes. Right, it's gone this thick so far. You wanna put like a marble in there or something clean. You can see there at the bottom. It's thick like that. You've just got to keep shaking it until it goes to butter. You start hearing like um, water inside or whey, whatever they call it. Then you know that you're getting near the butter. Right, now it's getting all lumpy. After you just keep shaking it, then it was going to eventually it's going to separate you get a bit of water in the bottom and then it's going to separate into butter and whey i think they call it right now you can see there's all liquid in there so a few more shakes and that would be butter it takes about five minutes but it's worth it there's quite a lot of butter there and i've still got one and a half tubs to go so all right like inside the jar there's all the butter and there's all the excess liquid that's coming out. All right. And there you go. That is pure fresh butter. Just needs squashing down into the cup. And that's a lot of butter for uh, one and a half tubs. So if you see cream reduced, double cream in the supermarket, go and buy it. Mix your own butter. But or butter. Save spending... Um, a load of money on it this this has probably cost me and that's equivalent definitely to half a slab i've poured the liquid away down a drain that's probably cost me one pound 40 one pound 60 what's one one pound 40 and uh yeah i've got a big tub of butter i thought this would all the whole lot will fit in this one cup but i'm gonna need two cups You've got to squash it down and get more liquid out as well 
with a clean spoon. Don't use a spoon with the cream on it. And stick a cover over it, a bit of cling film, stick it in your fridge. Okay. Also, I forgot to say, you've got to make sure you squash it down and get all the liquid out of it. You start seeing liquid in there, you've got to get it out because that will go off and turn your butter rancid. So, all right.